and our culture becomes more enriched by uh, by seeing these films. Particularly, the waves may be over in Europe for now. Uh, there's still some interesting things happening, but the major the major waves from the early 60s, the late 50s, are, are, are long gone. But uh, um, other parts of the world, as as we know, many of you here, are being heard from. So the problem is getting them shown and sharing the excitement of these pictures, sharing the excitement of these visions and these cultures, which I think is, is uh, for the long run, for our children, really. Uh, I, and, and, and honestly, I just get excited when I see a damn good movie. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, there's only a few. There's only a few. It's his films and one or two since then that I felt that I could go out and talk about and really, um, really uh, uh, champion. Um, but as I was making the speech in Paris, uh, I, I mentioned his film, and uh, he was sitting there. Ah. <laughs> and so we met afterwards, and uh, around the same time, started the World Cinema Foundation, which is a, uh, the idea of that foundation, uh, along with the board of directors of all the uh, uh, Suleiman and Hermano Olney and Fatih Akin and, and uh, Rekhan Tahrieh, uh, Kirasami, and many others. Along, along that idea of the World Cinema Foundation is to help restore, find, first of all, and restore films uh, from uh, countries that um, uh, are not able to have the ability, let's say, of certain countries in Europe, England, and also America, the um, labs to restore, the finances, and also the storage, and this sort of thing. Um, the, how you begin, because it's an extraordinarily vast uh, field, well, the idea was to ask uh, all the members of the board, and to see, we know, myself and Schrader and uh, Brandon Palm and Spielberg and all of us in the 70s, we knew the films that influenced us or we happened to refer to or, or stay in our memory, American films. And so over the years, we've been able to get most of those saved. Um, but what about the Fatih Akin's inspiration and Suleiman's inspiration? What about the films that they saw that inspired them? Um, and, uh, uh, and so uh, it's become a situation where we do a number of films a year. And uh, basically, a lot of this effective work, I know that Fatih Akin, for example, had one film in mind called Dry Summer. And it was made in Turkey in the 60s, in Istanbul. And uh, there was only one copy uh, in the producer's closet in Istanbul. And he refused to show it to anyone. And so Fatih had to go there, personally, to implore him to give us the copy, to go to Gianluca Farinelli in Bologna, and uh, they'll restore, uh, that's where most of the restorations are being done. Um, and then we're showing can. We usually use can as a base for these films. The next step with these films is to get them distributed. In the meantime, uh, at can, someone asked me to come to Mali, and I was able to do it after, I forget, it was about three years ago. Um, it was in December, and I spent three, 